Thrissur pronunciation originally Thiru Shiva Parur and previously known by its anglicized form as Trichur, is the fourth largest city, the third largest urban agglomeration in Kerala population 1,854,783 and the twentieth largest in India. It is also the headquarters of the Thrissur district. The city is built around a 65-acre hillock called the The Kinkadu Maiden which seats the Vatakumnathan temple. Thrissur was once the capital of the Kingdom of Cochin. It is located 300 kilometers (186 miles) towards northwest of the state capital Tiruvannantapuram. Thrissur is also known as the cultural capital of Kerala because of its cultural, spiritual, and religious leanings throughout history. One of the very famous cultural events in Thrissur includes Thrissur Puram, which is world famous and attracts quite a number of tourists and travelers. Etymology The name Thrissur Malayalam, Tursur is a shortened form Malayalam word Thiru Shiva Per Ur Malayalam, Thiru Shiva Per Ur Lord Shiva name town literally translates to the city or town with the name of the Lord Shiva. The name owes itself to the most prominent feature of the city, that is the Vatakumnathan temple, which has Shiva as its presiding deity. Alternately, Thri Shiva Purur Malayalam, Tri Shiva Puru Three Shiva Palace means the place with three famous Shiva temples which are said to be, the Vatakumnathan Temple, Kadapuram Shiva Temple and the Pungkunam Shiva Temple. Thrissur was known by its anglicized name Trichur until 1990, when the government decided to replace it with its Malayalam name. Thrissur was also known as, Vrishabhadrapuram, Kailasam of the South in ancient days. Cultural and business significance Thrissur is also known as the cultural capital of Kerala because of its cultural, spiritual and religious leanings throughout history. It contains the Kerala Sangeetha Nadaka Academy, Kerala Lalithakala Akademi and Kerala Sahitya Academy. The city hosts the Thrissur Puram Festival, the most colourful and spectacular temple festival in Kerala. The festival is held at the The Kinkadu Maiden in April or May. Thrissur has a large number of well-known temples including the Vatakumnathan Temple, Tiruvambadi Shri Krishna Temple and Paramekavu Temple, and the Guruvayur Temple as well as two famous churches, the Our Lady of Lord Syro Malabar Catholic Metropolitan Cathedral and the Our Lady of Dolors Syro Malabar Catholic Basilica, the largest Christian church in India. Thrissur has historically been a centre of Hindu scholarship. The city has one of the most important temples of Hindu Shaivism, that is the Vatakunathan Temple. The district is also home of one of the most holiest Hindu Vaishnava temples, the Guruvayur Temple. Christianity, Islam and Judaism entered into the Indian subcontinent through the Thrissur district. The works of scholars and Eastern Christian writings claim Thomas the Apostle to have set foot in Musiris near Thrissur 2000 years ago, AD 51-52 India's first mosque, Cheraman Juma Masjid, opened in AD 629. Thrissur has opened the gates for Arabs, Romans, Portuguese, Dutch and English. The city has served as an incubator for many Malayali entrepreneurs, and is a major financial and commercial hub of Kerala. It flexes its economic muscle in India as the headquarters of three major scheduled banks, South Indian Bank Limited, Catholic Syrian Bank and Donalakshmi Bank Limited and a clutch of chit funds. The city is also a big centre for shopping in Kerala for silks and gold jewellery. Thrissur attracts the largest number of domestic tourists in Kerala. Apart from being the cultural nerve centre of Kerala, it is also a major academic hub and is home to several educational institutions, including the Kerala Kalamandalam, St. Thomas College, which is more than a century old, Jawahar Bal Bhavan Thrissur, Kerala Police Academy, Kerala Agricultural University, Kerala University of Medical and Allied Sciences, College of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Kerala Institute of Local Administration, and Kerala Forest Research. Research Institute. Topic History. Topic Prehistory. The Ramavarmapuram monument is in granite and is of the Manhir type. The monument in Ramavarmapuram is 15 feet 4.6 meters in height and 12 feet 4 inches 3.76 meters wide. 
Since 1944, it has been protected by the Department of Archaeology. The monument is locally known as Patakalu or Palashiklu. These menhirs are memorials put up at burial sites for the departed souls. They belong to the megalithic age of Kerala, which is roughly estimated between 1000 BCE and 500 CE. All such monuments have not been dated exactly. Some experts are of the view that these are the remnants of the Neolithic age in the development of human technology. The Ramavarmapuram menhir is also believed to be a monument belonging to the Sangam period in the South Indian history. Another monolithic monuments like dolmens and rock cut caves are at Porkulam, Churamanangad, Ayal, Katakumbal, and Kakad. According to historians, the dolmens are burial sites. Though most of the monuments were well protected, the dolmen at Porkulam was in a neglected condition. The monument excavated under eminent archaeologist B. K. Thapar, between 1949 and 1950, was under the Department of Archaeology. Another megalithic monument is situated at Aryanur in Thrissur. This place has unraveled monuments such as the Kudakalu or Thapakalu mushroom stones or umbrella stones and Munamada saints abode. The laterite hillocks of Aryanur rise to about 50 meters. Another reference in Aryanur dates back to the early 15th century in the poem Chandratsavam. Topic: <inaudible> Pre-colonial history. The region can claim to have played a significant part in fostering the trade relations between Kerala and the outside world in the ancient and medieval period. The early political history of Thrissur is interlinked with that of the Shara dynasty of the Sangam age, who ruled over vast portions of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. After the Cheras, the place was later ruled by the kingdom of Cochin Later, a powerful dynasty known as Zamorans of Calicut captured most of the Thrissur in 14th and 15th century. <laughs> Colonial period. Next was the turn of Portuguese who ruled Thrissur in the 16th century. In the beginning of the 17th century the Portuguese power was reduced and Dutch became the main power. With the help of Dutch, Cochin royal family recaptured Thrissur from Samuthiri in 1710. The modern city of Thrissur rose to importance after Sakthan Thampuran ascended the throne of Kingdom of Cochin 1769-1805. He changed the capital of Cochin royal family to Thrissur from Matansheri and abolished the power of Nambuthiri community, which controlled most of the temples of Thrissur district. The Maharaja destroyed the forest around the Thakinkadu Maiden which seats the Vatakumnathan temple, and started the most spectacular cultural festival called Thrissur Puram. Sakthan Thampuran laid the modern foundation stone of Thrissur and made the city into a major financial and commercial hub of South India, by inviting Syrian Christian families and Brahmins from adjoining areas. However, during 1750 60, Hyder Ali, the Sultan of Mysore, attacked Thrissur and became tributary of the Kingdom of Mysore. Tipu Sultan, his son, led another invasion in 1786 to Thrissur, where he destroyed the churches of Syrian Malabar Nasrani community and Hindu temples. Tipu Sultan's army set fire to the church at Palayur and attacked the Olor church. The economy of Thrissur totally collapsed because of this invasion. Later he made a retreat from Thrissur, which served as the headquarters of Kerala region, after the Srirangapatanam war. In the meantime, Rama Varma X, the successor of Sakthan Thampuran signed a treaty with East Indian Company, and made Cochin a subsidiary of the British. Anti-colonial movements The Indian freedom movement struggle also grew in momentum in Thrissur after a committee was formed in 1919 of the Indian National Congress. In 1921, the civil disobedience movement also attracted a large number of people into the freedom struggle. In 1927 Mahatma Gandhi visited Vivekodayam school in the city. In 1934, Father of the Nation, again visited the city for the housewarming of barrister Krishna Menon. The house afterwards was known, Gandhi Mandaram, in Kembakavu. In the meantime, R. K. Shanmakam Chetty, the controversial Dewan of Cochin Kingdom from 1935 to 1941, was developing city by constructing Thrissur Town Hall and Ramanalayam. Even now also two monuments remain as the epicenter of Kerala politics. 
Dr. M. R. Menon, a minister in government of Kochi was instrumental in building the Municipal Corporation Building, Thrissur and the Municipal Office Road. He even concerted Swaraj Round and other peripheries of the city road. <laughs> Post-colonial In 1947, when India gained independence from the British rule, Thrissur was under Kingdom of Cochin. Thrissur district was formed on 1 July 1949, with the headquarters at Thrissur city. The city is usually referred to as the cultural capital of Kerala. The city had been a breeding ground of famous politicians and bureaucrats like R. K. Shanmukam Chetty, P. C. Rao, C. Achutha Menon, K. Karanakaran, Joseph Mundasari, Vinod Rai etc. after the independence. These individuals have changed the trajectory of Thrissur city afterwards. P. S. Rao, advisor to the Raja Pramak and acting governor of Kerala, is another person who Thrissakar is indebted to. He expanded Thrissur city by shifting all the administrative and government offices like Thrissur Collectorate to Ayanthol from Kembukavu. Government Engineering College, Thrissur, is another gift from Joseph Mundasari, the controversial former education minister who introduced Kerala Education Act. C. Achutha Menon, the former chief minister of Kerala gifted Kerala Agricultural University in 1971, a university for all agricultural-related activities. K. Karanakaran, the Bhishma of Kerala politics started his career in Thrissur as a painter. Later on he became the leader of city. During his regime Thrissur Guruvayur section and Pungkunam over bridge was built. Vinod Rai, the controller and auditor general of India, is another person who turned fortunes of the city by building Sakthan Thampuran Nagar, St. Nagar when he was collector of Thrissur district. He is also known as the second Sakthan Thampuran of Thrissur by shifting the municipal stand near the M.O. Road to Sakthan Thampuran Nagar, now known as Sakthan Thampuran private bus stand, Thrissur. Another IAS officer who made remarkable contributions to the development of Trichur is Raju Narayana Swami. He single-handedly widened five roads of the city Patalam Road, Inner Ring Road, Ragam Theatre Road, Padinjar Kota and Kemputi Lane, thereby changing the face of the town. Geography <laughs> 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 The city of Thrissur is situated in Thrissur district of central Kerala in India. The city is located at 10.52 degrees north 76.21 degrees east, 10.52, 76.21 and has an average altitude of 2.83 metres. The city is 75 kilometers northeast of Kochi, 133 kilometers southwest of Coimbatore, 124 kilometers southeast of Kori Code and 151 kilometers north of Changanasheri. The city is located in a hillock called the Kinkadu Maidan which is the second highest point in city after the Valangan Hills. From the hillock, the geography of the city moved towards middle land where Thrissur Coal Wetlands is situated. The coal wetlands act as a natural drainage for the city where the water is carried out to river and from there to the locative sea, thus keeping Thrissur city safe from flood waters which affect most of the other cities in Kerala. Different ponds, rivers and canals also keep the ground water safe from salt waters. The city is located in midland regions of Kerala, with an extended part of Palakkad plains. The city geologically is composed of Archean gneisses and crystalline schists. Major parts of city is covered by Archean's rocks. The city lies near the center of the Indian tectonic plate, the Indian plate and is subject to comparatively little seismic or volcanic activity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Under the Köppen climate classification, city of Thrissur features a tropical monsoon climate. Summer lasts from March to May which is the hottest time of the year. Summer months are uncomfortable due to higher levels of heat and humidity. Daytime temperatures can rise up to 36 to 38 degrees Celsius coupled with excessive humidity. Summer is followed by the southwest monsoon from June to September. October and November form the post-monsoon or retreating monsoon season. Winter from December through February is cooler, and windy, due to winds from the western ghats. Winter months are generally dry and less humid compared to other months of the year. Morning temperatures are usually cool and daytime temperatures hover around 30 degrees Celsius. The city is drained in the monsoonal season by heavy showers. 
The average annual rainfall is 300 cm. The southwest monsoon generally sets in during the last week of May. After July the rainfall decreases. On an average, there are 124 rainy days in a year. The maximum average temperature of the city in the summer season is 36 degrees Celsius while the minimum temperature recorded is 27 degrees Celsius. The winter season records a maximum average of 31 degrees Celsius and a minimum average of 20 degrees Celsius. Topic economy Thrissur is home to many leading Malayali entrepreneurs, and is a major financial and commercial hub of Kerala. Historians say that King Sakthan Thampuran had invited several Syrian Christian families and Brahmins to settle in Thrissur city from their business centers in adjoining areas. Soon, Thrissur became a flourishing center of internal trade in Kerala. Thrissur is one of the major manufacturing centers of plain gold and rolled gold jewelry in South India. Up to 70% of Kerala's jewelry is manufactured in Thrissur. There are around 3,000 gold ornaments manufacturing units in the city and 40,000 odd artisans and others work in these units. The industry provides direct and indirect employment to 200,000 people in Thrissur. The artisans based in these units craft nearly 85% of one ton gold, which is used per day in Kerala. About 90 tons of gold was being used annually in Kerala for manufacturing of ornaments daily. According to Reserve Bank of India, the city in the 1930s boasted of head offices of 58 banks and was recognized by RBI as banking town. Even now also it's the headquarters of major banks like South Indian Bank, Catholic Syrian Bank, Donalakshmi Bank, Lord Krishna Bank and non-banking institutions like Manapuram General Finance and Leasing Limited, Kerala State Financial Enterprise and ESAF Microfinance and Investments. The city's financial capabilities also saw the rise of CHIT fund. According to All Kerala Curry Foreman's Association, Kerala have around 5,000 CHIT companies, with Thrissur district accounting for the maximum of 3,000. These CHIT companies provide employment to about 35,000 persons directly and an equal number indirectly. The city is also emerging as the largest hub for Ayurvedic drug manufacturing industry in India. Out of the 850 Ayurvedic drug manufacturing units in Kerala, about 150 units, including some of the major Ayurvedic drug manufacturers in the Kerala state are located in and around the city. Of these, some of the companies like the Oshadi, Vaidyaratnam Oshadasala, K.P. Nambudiris, Sitaram Ayurvedic Pharmacy Limited, Kandamkalathi Vaidyasala, S.N.A. Oshadasala etc. are among the leading Ayurvedic drug manufacturers in the state. Thrissur Ayurveda Cluster, a Nandar initiative by a group of Ayurvedic manufacturers of Thrissur, has developed a cluster in Kinfra Park in Korati in Thrissur district. Modern retailing is a big business and revenue earner for the city. Jewelry and textile retailing occupies a major part of the retailing business in Thrissur. The city is considered as hub of jewelry and textile business in Kerala. Most of the jewelry groups have outlets in Thrissur and provide jobs to thousands of people. Kalyan Group, Yosha Luka and Sons, Joyalukas and Josco Group have their bases in city. Infopark Thrissur, the fourth technology park in Kerala after Tiruvananthapuram and Kochi and Kori Code is situated in Thrissur district. Tourism has also contributed heavily to the economy of Thrissur. Domestic tourists generally use the city as a hub to explore the highly promoted tourism industry of the state of Kerala. The city with its temples, old churches and its culture, is ranked first in the number of domestic tourists visiting Kerala. Administration Thrissur city functioned as a municipality since 1921 under the Cochin Municipal Regulations. In 1932, the new corporation building was constructed, and in 1972 new areas from other panchayats were added to the municipality. On 1 October 2000, the municipal town was upgraded to the level of a municipal corporation with the panchayats of Ayanthol, Korkkenchuri, Natathara, Vilvatam, Part, Olor and Olakara. The corporation comprises three legislative assemblies Thrissur, Olor and Cherpu. The city is administered by the Thrissur Municipal Corporation, headed by a mayor. The corporation is the second largest city corporation in the state of Kerala in India. The city is the only local body in Kerala which directly controls power, water supply and solid waste management system in the city. 
For administrative purposes, the city is divided into 52 wards, from which the members of the Corporation Council are elected for five years. The corporation has its headquarters in Thrissur City. The Thrissur Urban Development Authority and Town and Country Planning Department TCPD are the agencies that prepare development plan for the city. <laughs> Law and order The city is the headquarters of Thrissur City Police and Thrissur Rural Police. The Thrissur City Police is headed by a police commissioner, an Indian Police Service IPS officer. The city is divided into two subdivisions, Thrissur and Guravire. It also operates 14 police stations, including a woman police station and a traffic police station. The Thrissur City Police Commissionerate operates out of the Erst while District Armed Police Headquarters at Ramavarmapuram. The Thrissur Rural Police has its headquarters at the District Collectorate Complex at Ayantol. The city is also the headquarters of Inspector General of Police, Thrissur Range, which looks after the law and order of Thrissur District, Palakkad District and Malappuram District. All the superintendent of police of these three districts come under his jurisdiction. The city also contains the Kerala Police Academy, Central Prison, Vyur, Police Dog Training Centre and Excise Academy and Research Centre. India Reserve Battalion, new commando unit of Kerala Police is headquartered in Ramavarmapuram. Border Security Force 148 Battalion have its first centre in Kerala in Thrissur only. Demographics As of 2011 India Census, Thrissur City had a population of 315,957. Males constitute 48.2% and females constitute 51.8% of the total population numbering 152,296 and 163,661 respectively. The density of population is 3,130 per square kilometres. The sex ratio is 1,092-1,000 male. The total number of the households in the city is 66,827. The average family size in the city is 4.27 members. The city has a slum population equivalent to 0.30% of the total city population and 0.37% of the Kerala's slum population. The city has an average literacy rate of 95.5%, male literacy rate is 97% whereas female literacy rate is 94.6%. Thrissur Municipal Corporation is spread over an area of 101.42 square kilometers. The city alone accounts for 38% of the urban population in the Thrissur district. Thrissur Urban Development Authority area encompasses the Municipal Corporation area and adjoining panchayats. The total area under municipal corporation jurisdiction is 101.42 square kilometers and the area under the panchayats is 18.83 square kilometers together these constitute an area covering 120.25 square kilometers Hindus constitute the majority with 54.2% of the population and numbering 171252 Christians constitute 40% of the population with 126,443 members. Muslims constitute 5.4% of the population with 17,375 members. Politics Thrissur has played a significant part in the political history of South India. The city of Thrissur is represented in the Kerala State Assembly by two elected members, one from Thrissur Assembly constituency and another from Olor Assembly constituency. ADVVS Sunil Kumar is the representative of Thrissur Assembly constituency and K. Rajan from Olor Assembly constituency. Thrissur City is also a part of the Thrissur Lok Sabha constituency and elects a member to the Lok Sabha, the lower house of the Parliament of India, once every five years. The current MP is C. N. Jayadevan. 
The Lok Sabha seat has been held by the Indian National Congress for six terms 1951–1957, and 2009–2014 and the Communist Party of India for ten terms 1957–1962, 1962–1967, 1968–1969, 1970–1971, 1971–1982, 1980–1984, and 2014–present. Topic Transport Topic Road The city is connected to the North South Corridor National Highway, India, via the four lane National Highway forty seven. The highway traverses through the entire length and breadth of the city from different points and provides access to the nearby cities such as Kochi, Palakkad, and Coimbatore. NH 47 provides two main exit points at Manathi and which is bypassed to the Thrissur city and Thalore. The city is largely dependent on private buses, taxis and auto rickshaws called autos for public transport. A transit terminal mobility hub situated in Puzakal is also under wraps to be made on lines of Vaitila Mobility Hub to reduce traffic congestion is recently approved to be realized soon. State-owned Kerala State Road Transport Corporation KSRTC runs interstate, inter-district and city services. Thrissur has three bus stations, the Shakthan Thampuran Private Bus Stand, Thrissur in Sakthan Thampuran Nagar, Vidake Stand, Northern Bus Stand and the Thrissur KSRTC Bus Station near the Thrissur Railway Station. State Highway Shish 69. Thrissur Kudapuram Road, Shish 22 Kodungalar, Shornor Road, Shish 75 Thrissur, Kanjani, Vadanapali Road are the three state highways which connect city with its suburbs and municipalities. Topic. Railway The Southern Railway Zone of the Indian Railways operates the main rail transport system in Thrissur. There are four railway stations in Thrissur City. Thrissur Railway Station, one of the four A-plus railway station in Kerala provides trains to three directions and lies on the busy Sharnar Cochin Harbour section. It has a satellite station, Pungkunam Railway Station and two minor stations, Olor Railway Station and Mulankunathukavu Railway Station. Thrissur Railway Station also connects to the temple town of Guruvayur by Thrissur Guruvayur section. In addition, Southern Railways is running a suburban railway system connecting Thrissur to Kochi and Palakkad using mainline electrical multiple unit services Memu. Topic. Air. The city is served by Cochin International Airport Nejumbasari, which is about 55 km away. Direct domestic flights are available to major Indian cities like New Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore and Kolkata. International flights to Middle East cities like Dubai, Kuwait, Bahrain, Muscat, Sharjah, Jeddah, Riyadh, Doha and to Southeast Asian cities Singapore and Kuala Lumpur are available here. It has a dedicated heli taxi service and chartered flights. Calicut International Airport at Karapur is 80 km from the city, and Coimbatore Airport, which is 114 km from the city, also can be used by travelers. Culture and literature Festivals Known as the cultural capital of Kerala, the city enjoys a thriving cultural tradition dating back to centuries, and being the centre of Kerala's cultural activities. Thrissur Puram also called as the Puram of all Purams is celebrated in every year in the month of Medam mid to mid as per the Malayalam calendar. It is the biggest of all Purams held in Kerala. The city plays host, for 36 hours from the wee hours of the Puram day, to one of the most largest collection of people and elephants. Puli Kali also known as Kavakali is another festival, which attracts thousands of people to the city. 
It is performed by trained artists to entertain people on the occasion of Onam, an annual harvest festival, celebrated mainly in Kerala. The most important festivals celebrated in the city include Christmas, Onam, Easter, Eid and Vishu. The city is widely acclaimed as the land of elephant lovers. Anayutu, feeding of elephants, is the world largest elephant feeding ceremony held in Vidakunathan Temple in the city annually. The ceremony is conducted on the first day of the Malayalam month of Karkidakam. Topic: <laughs> Literature Literary lineage of city dates back to early history of Kerala but it came to prominence after Kerala government set up Kerala Lalita Kala Akademi, Kerala Sahitya Academy, Kerala Sangeetha Nadaka Academy and College of Fine Arts, Thrissur for promoting literature, music and arts in Kerala. After the Indian independence, Thrissur became the literary capital of Kerala as turned to the playground of novelists, poets and orators. In 1952 when Current Books set its first shop in Thrissur by former Education Minister Professor Joseph Mundassari, it became the abode of writers like O. V. Vijayan, Kovilan, V. K. N., Urub, Edassari Govindan Nair, M. T. Vasudevan Nair, K. G. Sankara Pillai and Sarah Joseph. The area was later known as Current Moolah, Current Corner. The building that housed the current books bookshop was demolished in 2011. Thrissur is home to prominent Malayalam literary figures like Kovilan, Kunani Mash, Sukumar Ajakode, K. Sachidanandan, Mulanesi, Sarah Joseph, Ator Ravi Varma, Lalitha Lenin, P. Bhaskaran, Joseph Mundassari. <laughs> Temples, churches, and mosques Temples the Vidakunathan Temple, believed to have been founded by the legendary Saint Parasurama, is a classic example of the Kerala style of architecture and houses several sacred shrines and with beautiful murals delineating graphically, various episodes from the Mahabharata. Tiruvambadi Shri Krishna Temple, one of the largest Shri Krishna temples in Kerala and Paramekavu Bhagavathi Temple which is one of the largest Bhagavathi temples in Kerala is also situated in the city. Sri Guruvayarappan Temple, is located in Guruvayar municipal town, Thrissur district. It is also referred to as Buloka Vaikunta which means, Holy Abode of Vishnu on Earth. Churches Asia's tallest church, the Our Lady of Dolors Syro Malabar Catholic Basilica Puthan Pali, Our Lady of Lords Syro Malabar Catholic Metropolitan Cathedral which has an underground shrine, is a masterpiece of architecture. Mart Mariam Cathedral, the oldest church in the city, which belongs to the Assyrian Church of the East also known as Chaldean Syrian Church of the East, is situated in Thrissur. The St. Anthony's Syro Malabar Catholic Forain Church, also known as Chinna Roma Small Rome are also in Thrissur. Mosques The Chettiyangadi Hanafi Mosque in Thrissur City is one of the oldest mosques in Thrissur. Kalathode Mosque Kalithod Juma Masjid in Thrissur City has the facility of cemetery. Kokolai Juma Masjid, Westfort Sunni Juma Masjid West Fort, Salafi Juma Masjid near railway station, Mike Juma Masjid near Shakthan bus stand, Ayanthol Juma Masjid Ayanthol, Alari Juma Masjid Alari are other mosques in Thrissur City. Cheraman Juma Mosque in Kodungalar, 40 km from Thrissur is the first mosque in India. Topic. Cuisine The cuisine of Thrissur is linked to its history, geography, demography and culture. Rice is the staple food. Achapam and kuzalapam are popular snacks. Velayapam, a kind of rice hopper is another dish which is special to the city. Topic. Education List of colleges and universities in Thrissur district already known as the cultural capital of Kerala, it is also fast developing as an education hub. The city has traditionally been a centre of learning from ancient times. With the decline of Buddhism and Jainism and due to the growing supremacy of Brahmanism during the revival of Hinduism, the city became an important centre of Sanskrit learning. Schools in city are either run publicly by the Kerala government or privately, some with financial aid from the government. The medium of education is either English or Malayalam, with the former being the majority. 
Most schools are affiliated with the Kerala State Education Board or Indian Certificate of Secondary Education or the Central Board for Secondary Education or the National Institute of Open Schooling or the Montessori system. There are 93 lower primary schools, 34 upper primary schools, and 78 high schools, and 157 higher secondary schools in the city. With universities like Kerala Kalamandalam, Kerala Police Academy, Kerala Agricultural University, Kerala University of Medical and Allied Sciences, National Research Institute for Panchakarma, Charitharuthi and Kerala Institute of Local Administration, the city would add another feather in its crown by having world-class university and a science city. The Raj Kovu Institute of Agriculture was made in 2012 to teach farmers about modern techniques of agriculture and better farming practices. The college currently has 300 students. With the three medical colleges, Government Medical College, Thrissur, Jubilee Mission Medical College and Research Institute, Amala Institute of Medical Sciences and a medical university Kerala University of Medical and Allied Sciences, the city has become synonymous with medical education in Kerala the district has two Kendraya Vidyalayas. Healthcare. The city serves as a centre for healthcare in the central Kerala. The portion covers Thrissur district, Palakkad district, Malappuram district and northern part of Ernakulam district. Most of the people in these districts come to city of Thrissur for their medical care. There are three medical colleges, Government Medical College, Thrissur, Amala Institute of Medical Sciences and Jubilee Mission Medical College and Research Institute, and few other high-tech hospitals. The city has an ancient tradition of Ayurvedic treatment. From the Ashtavadiya tradition, Oshadi, Vaidyaratnam Oshadasala, Sitaram Ayurvedic Pharmacy Limited, and SNA Oshadasala is located in city of Thrissur. All these firms have been instrumental in spreading the fame of Kerala Ayurvedic treatment, as thousands of overseas patients visit the Ayurvedic treatment facilities in and around Thrissur every year. Vaidyaratnam runs a medical college in Chikitsalayam, with global standards. Sitaram have a 100-bedded eight-storied super-speciality hospital in the city of Thrissur, envisaged as the first of its kind Ayurveda super-speciality hospital in the country. <laughs> Sports The city has been the breeding ground for the Kerala footballers, and football is the most popular sport in the city. There are two football stadiums in the city, Thrissur Municipal Corporation Stadium and Thope Stadium. Famous international players and former Indian captains C. V. Papachan, I. M. Vijayan and Joe Paul Ancheri, the young under-17 World Cup player K. P. Rahul belong to Thrissur. The N. I. David Memorial Trophy, an annual inter-club football tournament is held in Thrissur every year. The football championship was started in 1996 by the then Superintendent of Police, Thrissur. The city has a floodlit stadium, known as Thrissur Municipal Corporation Stadium. It also has two indoor stadiums, VKN. Menon Indoor Stadium and a Sports Authority of India maintained Thrissur Aquatic Complex with international facilities. Thrissur has contributed many national and international bodybuilding stars to India such as TV Pali and VM Bashir. Chess prodigy Nihal Saran is from Thrissur. Media The first Malayalam newspaper which published from Thrissur was Lokamanyan in 1920. Then came Dinabandhu edited by V. R. Krishnan Ezuthachan. Ezuthachan started publishing as a weekly in 1941 from Thrissur. It was one of the first periodicals that supported the national movement. As soon as the Quit India movement was started, its editor and staff were sent to jail and publications were banned. Later Lokamanyan 1920, Kerala Chintamani 1905, Kerala Kesari 1924, Mahatma 1930, Gomathi 1930 and Navajivan of Joseph Mundasari was also published from Thrissur. The Express started in 1944 from Thrissur with K. Krishnan as the editor is very popular in central Kerala for its nationalist and socialist views. Major Malayalam newspapers published in Thrissur include Malayala Munorama, Mathrabhumi, Madhyamam, Deepika, Kerala Kamudi, Dashabimani, Mangalam, Vikshanam, Metro Vartha and Janayugam. 
A number of evening papers, like General in Malayalam and City Journal in English, are also published from the city. Newspapers in other regional languages like Hindi, Kannada, Tamil, and Telugu are also available in city. The first cinema hall in Kerala, with a manually operated film projector, was opened in Thrissur by Jose Katukaran in 1907. In 1913, the first electrically operated film projector was established in city again by Jose Katukaran and was called the Jose Electrical Bioscope, now famously known as Jose Theatre. A film festival, known as Vibgyur Film Festival, is held in the city every year. It is an international short and documentary film festival. Telephony services are provided by various players like Aircel, Airtel, Idea Cellular, Vodafone, Reliance Infocom, Tata Docomo, MTS, Uninor, Tata Indicom and the state-owned BSNL. BSNL is also offering 3G services in Thrissur. The city also have broadband wireless services on WiMAX platform. Private FM radio stations in the Thrissur are Club FM 104.8 MHz, Radio Mango 91.9 MHz, Best FM 95 by Asianet Communications Limited, Red FM 91.1 MHz. All India Radio has an AM 630 kHz and an FM 101.1 MHz station for the city. The transmitter of the All India Radio 630 kHz was commissioned on 4 November 1956. The station started independent broadcasting in 1974. Thrissur has a Doordarshan studio with a low power transmitter located near the studio. <laughs> Tourism Circuit Tourism 2017 is being celebrated by the United Nation Organization as the Year of Sustainable Development of Tourism. Keeping this in mind, DTPC, Thrissur, under the Department of Tourism, Kerala has launched tourism circuits all across the district, with a view to promote and uplift these cherished hopes. In order to fulfill the goals, 6 06 tourism circuits have been formed in Thrissur district, namely Blue Circuit Brown Circuit Yellow Circuit Orange circuit Green circuit Red circuit These circuits were conceptualized by the assistant collector under trainee Mr. M. V. R. Krishna Tiha IAS under the aegis of the district collector Drive A. Kausigan IAS. They were inaugurated by the HONB Minister of Industries Shri A. C. Moideen and HONB Agriculture Minister Shri V. S. Sunil Kumar on 7 April. Picture gallery See also List of twin towns and sister cities in India Visitor attractions in Thrissur List of tallest buildings in Thrissur <laughs>